All the population, both Muslim and European in this country, wants to remain French. Isn't there a danger that you might create a military dictatorship in France? Uh -huh. Now you see, uh, there is no danger of that at all. Uh, what the army is doing here is, uh, a, is war, of course, but is a subversive and psychological war. And all what is happening just now is a part of that war. Vous avez bien mérité d'être les premiers montagnards reçus dans la capitale de l'Algérie pour être une France rénovée et son armée qui est et qui demeurera l'élément moteur de cette rénovation. <coughs> Qu'ils nous remettent leurs armes et qu'ils rentrent dans le sein de la communauté française qui respecte toutes ses confessions. Vive l'Algérie française Mr. Soustel, would you briefly sum up the present state of affairs between Algeria and France? Well, you know, uh, it's rather a difficult question to answer in a few words. As a matter of fact, uh, the situation is that France, uh, Algeria, I mean, is in a French province, uh, which has no desire to be separated from France on the contrary. You may have noticed the manifestations in the streets. All the population, both Muslim and European in this country wants to remain French. Now, Algeria as a whole uh, can be at disagreement with the present government of France, but between France herself and Algeria, there is no problem. On the contrary. What exactly is your personal role in the Algerian movement? Well, you know, I'm a member of parliament. I came here as a former governor of this country. I happen to have a few friends in the population and to, I have been uh, received quite well. I have no official function, no command, uh, but I uh, use all the influence I can have here uh, to reinforce the unity of the armed forces and the population. What part would you like to see General de Gaulle play in this situation? I think that the role of General de Gaulle should be one of uh, arbitration. That is, there is a serious situation. There is a danger of a separation between France and Algeria, although we don't want it at all. And I think that in such a serious uh, situation, General de Gaulle could be called as uh, the only man, in my opinion, and I think in all these gentlemen's opinion, uh, who is, uh, would be able uh, to uh, create a new unity between the both, uh, uh, the both uh, countries, both provinces, uh, metropolitan France and Algeria. Isn't there a danger that you might create a military dictatorship in France? Uh -huh. I already heard that. Now you see, uh, there is no danger of that at all. Uh, of course, it's very easy when there is a popular movement with a serious participation, act active participation of uh, military uh, chiefs, as my friend General Massu. It's very easy to think of military dictatorship. But uh, it so happens that it's not the fact at all, we are all of us uh, as uh, much attached to democracy as everybody else in France. Do you intend to intensify the war against the FLN, regardless of what the government at home may say? Well, as my friend Massu uh, told me just a moment ago, uh, what the army is doing here is, uh, a, is war, of course, but 
is a subversive and psychological war. And all what is happening just now is a part of that war. You may have seen those Muslim masses in this city, and all over Algeria, in all the cities and villages of this country. There is an extraordinary movement of the Arab and Berber masses towards France. And uh, that is also a part of the war, you know. What is your personal estimate, estimate of Monsieur Fimlin's government? Well, you know, uh, I'm not uh, one to uh, speak on personalities. Uh, I think uh, persons are not very significant at such a time. Now, Mr. Flimley, Lange's government, is a government just as the others uh, before, that is under the party, party's regime. They cannot work. They may be filled with good intentions, but what can they do? Do you fear that there might be serious personal consequences for what you've done? I don't know, and if I may say so, I don't care. Have you actually broken the law? Well, I don't think so. After all, I'm a French citizen. I'm a free man. Uh, Algeria is France, and I'm here. Why did you have to flee in the boot of a car? Too many cops around. Do you see yourself returning to France in the near future? I think so. When? Very soon, I think. Thank you very much indeed, Mr. Sustel. <laughs>